Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today we are going to go over the top mods, in my opinion at least, that you could use when you're doing chickens. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome to my first ever top mods video. So in this we're going to look at the top mods for chickens. So I have a chicken coop right in front of us, and again, some of these are for all platforms, some of them are not. I will let you know when we get to them if they're for all platforms or if they're just for PC Mac players. So, um, yeah, the, right in front of me I have just a basic in-game chicken coop. Um, if you have not already, I have a tutorial on chickens linked down below and a chicken test video linked down below in the description. And then this video will be linked in those two video descriptions, so you get the point. Three videos about chickens to kind of space it out and make it all kind of worthwhile. And if you didn't care about one video, you didn't have to watch it. So that was kind of the reason why I split them up as I did. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first one we're gonna go into is gonna be if we go up to the gate here to buy chickens. So if you see this notation here that shows you the quantity, that's not normally there. This is for the animal screen extended mod and this is for PC players only. So again, the animal screen extension mod adds that. It also allows you if I wanna buy these to hold down as you see press down there and now I'm moving them by just holding down and it will speed up in a second. Or at least should there it goes. So now it's speeding up. So this is much faster than holding or than continuing to hit uh, the enter key over and over again. So that's the animal screen extended. So there you go, boom. And then we can go ahead and confirm that. Put those guys in there. So that is my first mod for us. All right, folks. My second mod up for us is for PC Mac players only. Again, it adds water to the chicken coops, which adds a little bit more realism. Um, this does this for um, and, and it also has I should say this where you can pay to have them install whoops a specific pump which it should show up with construction stuff in a little bit where you can just kind of hit a button and put the water in so that is a pretty nifty kind of more immersive mod and again not always are to make it necessarily easier but um, i would recommend that and it also does add that ability to add a water fill um, to each animal pen um, and that works on um, the other animals as well so just be aware of that all right, my next mod up now is going to be the big bag containers, which you're like, well, that's that's we already know about those. This is for all platforms. And the reason this is the next one up, if we go in the store, you normally come in here. And if you wanted to buy food, this isn't if you're producing food, if you wanted to buy food to feed your chickens, you had to come in here, it'll be out at the store. Then you got to drive it down here and pick it up. Um, there is an easier way. If we go into placeables, I believe it's under miscellaneous here. Yes, there is a wheat big bag. It's the same price, same capacity. If we left click on that, we can now place big bags down here that we can now move around to feed our chickens with. So there you have it. That makes it so it's kind of like a delivery that doesn't cost you anything. So I'd recommend that. Um, again, that is for all platforms. All right. And next up, a placeable buy anything silo or buy chicken food silo. There are so many different ones. I don't have one specific mod in mind. Uh, this one here is actually just part of the no man's land map. Um, so it's definitely not the cheapest option as far as this specific one goes. There's other ones that are better options. I do have a video that will be linked in the description as far as which ones of these have the best prices and different options and everything like that. Um, yeah, and a lot of them are available for all platforms. So. We are now gonna drive this down. So after you're able to fill up with wheat, you can just easily, and you could place, if you get one of the placeable ones, you can place it right next to your chickens if you really wanted to, or right next to where you're gonna do it, or anywhere on your farm. So then after you fill up on wheat, all you have to do is pull up right here. And we can now unload if I don't overshoot the uh, destination there. So yeah, that is another one of the mods that I would highly recommend for you. The next couple of mods will deal with these pesky egg boxes and moving them around. I have, for you the egg pallet so these you buy at the store you place them in this is the one that's partway full this is the one that's full and then you can load them on your favorite flatbed trailer or really anything you want you can probably put a pallet in the back of your pickup truck no problem as well um so if we look at these these are gonna be found in the store they are under pallets they are down here the egg pallets a thousand dollars it holds 2400 liters of eggs so a decent amount there i would say um yeah so that is a good way to go if you wanted to do that again that is a fantastic way. All right, here is the next one that works together with the egg pallets if you have them. So this is the pallet container. These are a bunch of different pallets. They don't come off. There is straps, so I guess you could load more on top of it. However, let's say I have four egg pallets here completely loaded with eggs. Instead of moving those and 
getting rid of them and you know transporting them and empty them out by the way when you do sell the eggs out of those um they do become empty but if you pull up next to them like this boom of course we might need to work a little bit to get that guy in the back but i'm sure we can do that and this is available for all platforms so essentially you just pull up next to it while it's on the the trailer here um, and according to the mod hub, it says it has to be on the trailer. I haven't tried setting a, the IT runner attachment to the back of it, but this is an IT runner attachment. So if you do want to drop it off, you can go ahead and do that. And you also need the IT runner pack from Giants or any other IT runner pack that's going to work with this. So that is just an IT runner back on there that this mod is. So yeah, and you can see down there, we're holding 9,600 liters. This is found in the store if we go under animals all the way to the end. IT runner container pallet. This is for eggs, holds 19,200 liters. You can adjust the color if you really want to. It also will hold milk and wool. So it is a very versatile piece of equipment that you can have available to you on your farm. All right, folks, this next mod is jumping back to feeding, but let's say you need just a little bit of food for your, for your animals. You don't need a lot, you just need a little bit. So if we go into the store here, this is going to be under big bags. We scroll down we have the chicken food bag one piece and four piece so 100 liters versus 400 liters so we'll go ahead and buy both of those perfect we hop out of there one's next to the truck here because they are so small but yeah you can just throw them in the back of your pickup no problem at all throw some tension straps on them and then drive away and you can just dump these into your food bin and this is available for all platforms. So definitely not a bad idea if you just have a couple of chickens maybe, or you just need chicken food every so often. This is a pretty easy to do it and you can lift them up. I don't have super strength on. So very good mod there. So that is available to you. All right, and this next one, let's say you really do like these little egg boxes and you do want to do it this way. Well, maybe you want somewhere to store them because you don't want to wait until this is full and transport those and not make that much at a time. Well, bring them over here, throw them in here. One box. Two box, three, four, and here is five. So this right here, if we come up here to this little area here, or I packed you to the door here. All right, we see that we have five egg boxes in here. We have a total of 750 liters. So we could say we wanted two, and it will drop two outside for us. So this will hold up to 110. This is the egg storage hut, and this is available only for PC and Mac players. So if you did want to do eggs this way, this is an option for you. All right, and the next mod I have for you is also for PC players only, I believe. Oh, we still have a couple more for console. I'm just looking down my list here. So this is called Happy Animals. So if you noticed, um, well, you probably didn't notice, but the whole time I was doing this, fast forwarding to get eggs to happen and everything like that, I have not cared for these animals at all yet. If we go into here, they're clean or almost, or excuse me, they're almost, well, they are clean. Um, their water's low, we'll explain that in a second. And their barley or their, their wheat and barley will go down a little bit, but this is called Happy Animals. So what it does is every day at certain points, it will clean the pen it will reload the food and it will charge you a fee however it was not programmed to understand that this water add-on since this is an add-on so you do have to do that however all you do is hit that and then it will fill this up with water so you just have to do that every so often but it'll take care of the rest for you um, it has been charging me anywhere from 700 to 1300 a day so it's not necessarily I would say an economical way to do it maybe, but if you really are tired of taking care of it and you just need eggs or something for maybe a role play or something like that you're doing, that is an option for you. Happy Animals does work with other ones as well. So once you it's installed, it will be doing it for you. Um, the next couple of mods that I wanna go over are gonna be different ways to clean up this area if you are not using Happy Animals, which most of you probably will not be using. The first of these mods is gonna be the milling machine. So I O to get the pipe out, V to lower it down. Oh, I'm going to get on to it. There we go. Select it. V to lower it down. B to turn it on. Now, yes, this isn't in that cleaning area there, but it does work. I guarantee it. So if this is just wheat sitting on the ground, you can come over here, and it's just going to throw it all in the back of your trailer and pick it up for you. So that is an option. So, and then you get basically all of that wheat off the ground, and you can use that again as more feed. So that is one of the options, and this is available for all platforms. And in the store, oh, by the way, in the store, if we look at this, the egg hut is going to be under miscellaneous if we go down here over to right about there. There's the egg hut at 7,500 to buy. All right, so if we go over down to miscellaneous, here is 
the milling machine. The milling machine is going to take all of these crop types so it can pick up anything off the ground, really, um, which is why it's so fantastic. I use it a lot when I'm doing silage. So very versatile, only 5,000, highly recommended. All right, and this next mod is the two shell sweeper. So if I hit V to lower it, B to turn it on, this will clean up any mess on the ground. It also cleans up and removes tire tracks. So if I clean this up, boom, it's all good to go. However, if you do notice down in the bottom right-hand corner, it does turn whatever it picks up into manure. So you won't get anything back other than manure out of it. Um, however, like you see here, it can erase tire tracks. Um, it's very convenient. It picks up most things off the ground, if not everything. I've never run into anything it doesn't pick up. But if you're not really worried about getting the feedback and you just want a quick way to get out and do it real quick and clean that up, this is a pretty good way to do it. So I really enjoy using this mod and I use it quite often. All right, I have one more to show you. So give me one second and I'll bring you guys back in. All right, the final mod I have for you guys today is the livestock trailer add-on. By the way, that sweeper over there that I just showed you, that is for all platforms. This final one is for PC and Mac players only. This is the livestock trailer add-on. So if we pull up to our chickens here, essentially what this gives us the ability to do is to transport chickens. So let's say I wanted to sell, and I can just go ahead and hold down on it because we have the animal screen installed there. And I'm going to load this up. This holds 90 chickens, this trailer specifically. I know we're selling all of our all of our hardworking chickens, but it'll be fine. Perfect. Livestock trailer is full. Confirm, and it puts them in little chicken cages here. So you can do that if you wanted to. <laughs> but it also comes with this building. So this building is key for this. You can't buy chickens, as far as I'm aware, at the livestock dealer. So first off, this building does have a chicken feed buy point, bulk buy point at the side there. And if you come over to this point here. This is where you can buy and sell chickens. So now there is a way to transport chickens. So you're getting the most profit um, out of them when you're selling them. So this is fantastic right here. So you can do that if you want. I sold part of them. You can buy more of them, add them over. That is a fantastic mod. And again, there's a bulk buy point on the other side. So this, if we go into the store to place this is really not that expensive. We go into miscellaneous and we move our way over. Here is the chicken dealer, it's $1,000. And also too, another thing to know, under miscellaneous on this part, we have these guys right here. These are the two shell sweepers. So there's a couple different options in the pack. So yeah, this one is for a telehandler. This one is for like a three point link. But uh, anyhow guys, that is all my top mods for chickens today. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the channel. Turn on your notification bells to not miss any more future mod videos or future tutorials, tips, guys, gameplay, anything, you name it. Uh, so yes, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on those notification bells. And again, leave a comment down below if there's another mod that you think I missed or that you enjoy doing uh, chickens with. Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, thank you for coming and watching.